Hi guys, today we are taking a look at some new motors from Rotoracer.eu. Now these motors were actually passed to me by Christoph, who is one of the part co-founders of Rotor Racer and is also one of my team members here on the Tornado X-Blades. And he is also known by some as Dronus. And today we're going to be taking a look at some of his prototype Rotor Racer motors. We've actually got three here to test. Some are 2200 kV, which are these, they're just actually mislabeled. We've got the 2520 kV and the uh, crazy 2800 kV motors. So as I just mentioned, these are the 2200 kVs, despite what they say on the sticker saying 2000 kV. These are the prototype from Rotor Racer. They come in three flavors, so 2200 kV for your race. We've got the 2520 kV for your flow. And if you want to go crazy with freestyle, then we have the 2800 kV motors. They're all the same size being 2206. The only difference is the kV rating and the windings. There's no complaints in the build quality. I've gave these a really good pulling and pushing and I can't find any play in any of the shafts. Nothing seems to be moving that shouldn't be moving. And if I throw them on the scales here, you can see that they come in at around 28.6 grams. I measured all of the KV ratings and they are all about half a gram within each other. The cables included on the motor are of a nice quality silicone, none of this nasty plastic here. I think we have lost those days now, so it's not something we should really have to worry about anymore. The motors also come with two prop nuts per motor. And as far as I'm aware, there's no plan on having clockwise and counterclockwise. All of these can spin either direction. So let's jump straight into some motor tests. So first of all, we're going to use the 2200 KV2206, which is for racing. Uh, we've got a Dow 5x45 on there. The battery is a Turnigy 1300 mAh 4 cell. Yeah! So for our first test on the Dow 5045, we pulled 907 grams. We had a max amps of 16.87 and 266.8 watts, giving us a efficiency of 3.9 grams per watt. So now let's try a different prop, this time a HQ 5040 Tri. So using the Tri prop this time, we managed to pull 951 grams of thrust using 19.6 amps, 310 watts, giving us a efficiency of 3.06 grams per watt used. Okay, just for fun, let's try a quad prop on here. This is the first time I'm using one of the quad props on the uh, test bench, so it'd be interesting to see what happens. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Get Props Man for sending these out to me. So using the four bladed 5040 props, we managed to pull 983 grams of thrust, 22.33 amps, 353.2 watts, and an efficiency of 2.7 grams per watt. For the next test, I'm going to try the 2800 kV motors. And as you can see, I'm looking around for some different props to use. Now, because these are such a high kV rated motor, I wanted to try something with a little bit less pitch. Uh, for the first test also because I was live at the time on Facebook and I had people like Chad Nowak and Mr. Steel watching and they were egging me on to blow something up so the first prop I'm going to use is a HQ5040 this is a non bull nosed prop it's also a plastic composite so a little stronger than a normal plastic prop I'm just going to stand back <laughs> So the results for the 2800 kV on a HQ5042 blade was 1098 grams of thrust, 28.99 amps, 441.5 watts giving us an efficiency of 2.48 grams per watt. Now Chad and the guys that were watching online live when I was doing these tests were asking if I could power up the motor and leave it running at full throttle for say about 10 seconds so that's what I've done just so we can see if anything actually blows up. And as you can see, nothing did, so I was able to carry on with some more testing. So let's move on to another prop. And that prop is a Mr. Steel branded HQ Tri prop. Now the red props are branded for Mr. Steel. If you buy them, you'll see that it has his name on the packaging. What? 
<laughs> that was almost 1300. <laughs> So I was literally blown away by the 5040 Triblade there. We managed to pull our highest ever rating of 1,252 grams of thrust, 32.92 amps, 486.8 watts, giving us efficiency of 2.57 grams per watt. And on to our final test of today, which is another popular propeller, which is the DAL 5040 Bullnose. <laughs> So the DAL 5040 ball nosed managed 1,189 grams of thrust, 31.74 amps, 488.1 watts and an efficiency of 2.43 grams per watt. So there we have a couple of tests on these new motors. And you may have spotted that I haven't actually tested the 2,520 kV motors. I'll be following the video up soon with those particular tests because I have some T-Motor F40s which are 2,500 kV motors and uh, it'd be worth to put them against each other and see which is best. Now going back to these 2,800 kV motors, we're pulling around 32, 33 amps. So we're really getting to the limits of what a 1,300 nanotech is going to be able to do when you multiply this between the four motors on the quad. In fact, if you want to keep these motors at peak performance, then you're going to need something like an 1800 milliamp 4 cell, and it's going to need a discharge C rating of around 70. Anyway, the only thing left for me to do now is to strap these 2206, 2200 kV motors onto one of my frames and go out for a fly and let you know what they're really like in the real world. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.